This video will cover the topic graphing a cubic function of the form y is equal to a times x to the third. When graphing a cubic function in the form of y is equal to a times x to the third, it is important to focus on the origin. This is because cubic functions of this form are symmetric about the origin. Let us start with this example. y is equal to 7 over 8 times x to the third power. How do we do this problem? First, we need to set up a chart so we can plot our points. For this question, we will plot five points. We will start with the vertex. The vertex will be 0, 0. We know this because when you set x equal to 0, y will also be 0. This will be the first data point we insert into the table. We will now select four data points that we will use. We need two x values on each side of the vertex. The values we will use are negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. Now we substitute these values into our equations. Negative 2 gives us y is equal to 7 over 8 times parentheses negative 2 parentheses to the third power, resulting in negative 7. Now we insert our other values into the equation giving us y is equal to 7 over 8 times negative 1 to the third power. y is equal to 7 over 8 times 1 to the third power and y is equal to 7 over 8 times 2 to the third power. We solve these to get y is equal to 7 over 8 times negative 1 to the third power is equal to negative 7 over 8. y is equal to 7 over 8 times 1 to the third power is equal to 7 over 8. And y is equal to 7 over 8 times 2 to the third power is equal to 7. Now we insert these values into our given table. Now that our table is set up, we can plot our points. To do this, we will use the plot point tool in Alex. This tool can be found in the side box. What tool do we use to plot the points? The plot point tool looks like this can be used to enter exact coordinates for the point. We can now insert our first point, 0, 0. We do this for the four other points until we have a graph that looks like. Now we select the graphing button, which looks like. Once we select the graph button, we will get. This graph will be our final answer. Okay, I think I got it. So we begin making a table of five initial x values. From here, we must find the corresponding y values. Once we finish our table, we use the plot tool to plot our points, then our graph tool to finish the graph. That's great, you got it. Now all you need is a bit more practice.